In this video, I'll show you the 12 new Unify products that were released in April 2025. And there's about four that were announced and are scheduled to be released in the month of May. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Bogdan Ciperni, founder of Apex One IT. First of all, we hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you for watching and especially those of you who subscribe. That's what keeps this channel going and helps us produce videos like this. So I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's get into the list. First for 249, we have the WAN switch. You'll notice the, this does not have any RJ45 ports. It does have a RJ45 port management, but redundant power supplies. And the idea here is, well, right here, you, you have one of these, you have your ISP and you output to your primary gateway and then your secondary one or redundant, I should call it. Okay, so that's what these two ports are right here, 10 gig SFP plus. So that's for 249 and that's available now. And I, I guess I should have put this one later in the list, but there is a also the RJ45 version. So right here, it has 10 gig RJ45 ports and instead of the SFP plus. Well, same thing here as well. And same idea here, that's how you would deploy it. Then these next two switches here, the Pro XG 24 PoE, that's 1800 and then the 48 PoE 2500. They were announced previously and I covered it in my March video actually. So I'll, I'll have a link for you here, uh, but they're available now. That's that's why they're here. So these are these are the PoE plus plus plus. Okay, so three pluses on there. And these are where you have the SFP, SFP 28, so 25 gig ports on here. 2.5 gig, the first bank here, and then the last two are 10 gig. And then the smallest XG version, again, these are made uh, essentially to pair with those new XG uh, Wi-Fi access points. This one's $700, there's a 10 port version. So the 24 is 1800, uh, less than half, okay. Yes, and, and yes, it's not 12 ports, but still pretty good. So this is the smallest rack mounted uh, kind of size Pro XG 10 that you can get PoE. So all of these are 10 gig and all of them are PoE++++. 400 watts of power, that's quite a lot of PoE budget there. And just to point out that these are your typical 10 gig SFP plus ports, not SFP 28. And it also, yeah, you can kind of tell there, it also does have ether lighting. So all these 10 ports light up as well. Next, let me cover a couple accessories, quite a few here that were actually released. So this is a RJ45 inline coupler, indoor 10 pack. Okay, so 29 10 pack, that's like um, two something a piece. You'll notice they're very similar to the toolless, you know, so-called toolless ones they have um, as well, but this is a little bit more cost effective. The ones for the Keystone jacks are, the Keystone ones for a Keystone panel are $39 12 pack, and this is $29 10 pack, uh, and just cleaner if you want to use that. Now that's cool, the one that's, I actually like a lot more super useful is this one. So this is an outdoor, same idea, just instead of indoor outdoor, it is only a two pack, but it's kind of like their pigtails. It's very small and just um, good to deploy in tight spaces, maybe like a pipe going through. And in fact, I actually had an issue with a different one that we used before. For example, this one right here, it's, a, it's not a bad, coupler and there's two pack as well and it's you know cheaper at $13 but this diameter is like 2x that one of Unify so I mean it's, this one's also ready like IP68 and this one's IPX6 I believe yeah yeah this one's just um, smaller so it'll fit in more places and sort of related to that is this kind of pigtail or extension cable that they call so you notice this one end is actually kind of the same thing as the coupler half of it and the other end is just the RJ45. This is an outdoor, yeah, weatherproof, of course, thin cable for last inch reach installations, as it says. This is also two pack, so same cost. And it's really useful. Uh, I just use it, especially when you're like deploying cameras and you know those bullet cameras where sometimes it's tough when you're, you're trying to mount it and that cable is just so hard to bend over like the uh, PTZ. And also when you're trying to use it like with a outdoor cable that maybe is armored and it's just way too thick to go through the mounting 
of like the bullet cameras, for example, it really makes it difficult. So this is where something like this would be super useful. Next, we have the horizontal rack cable management. Now I saw the vertical one before, uh, they had this for a while, but this is new, I'm pretty sure, um, for April, as far as I know. V very more, I would say, enterprisey as well, when you have lots of cables that you can't, you know, use patch panels, patch cables everywhere. So yeah, they kind of have their own, you know, there's, there's a lot of other vendors or suppliers, companies that do this kind of thing. But yeah, for $29, you get one, one of these. And finally, Unify has its own 10 gig ethernet adapter. So this is USB type C. Of course you need USB type C with that supports USB four, Thunderbolt three or Thunderbolt four. Uh, and yeah, it's just that it's just a, uh, for 10 gig networking. 199 so maybe a little bit, probably the cheapest one you'll find is like 150 uh, So it's definitely not the cheapest but definitely popular as well and Actually, I probably don't need one right now <laughs> You know, you know a lot of people who want to go 10 gig you're probably fine with 2.5 I would say and it's funny. It has an installation guide uh, Okay, you plug in the cable. That's all. Yeah, there's nothing to it. So it's just an adapter You can hook it up to one of those 10 gig switches and have some 10 gig networking. Okay, a couple more things. I have one thing from Door Access, one more from U for Unify Talk, and then we'll get to the main releases. So this one for Door Access was kind of funny, surprising to see. Uh, door Closer is $129. Now, all this is is just a mechanical door closer. At first I thought maybe they did a electrified one, but you, I mean, electrified one will not be $129. So. It's just to control a door closer to control, you know, adjust the tension, how how fast it closes, things like that. So I'm just wondering if we're going to see more of these types of releases from Unify. Um, like maybe they're starting out with these, and then they're gonna have electrify versions and panic bars, and just more for their door access. That would be nice to see. Okay, then Unify Talk. So there were a couple announcements. Let's actually come back here. But yes, it's the wireless handset, uh, the one that's only for the Gen gen 3 generation 3 phones so this was announced it just is finally released it's a hundred dollars i do have one i need to test but it is awesome some people miss that a lot of void phones for whatever reason just don't come with wireless handsets like this uh, but this one does so that's nice and speaking now of may releases at least the ones that are officially uh scheduled okay so it's this right here so we have the g3 Touch Enterprise, so that's just kind of the large horizontal phone, not the smaller vertical one. Uh, comes in at $300, scheduled to be released this month in May. And also the wall version of that, so wall mountable. Okay, then the last one in switching, that's scheduled for May 2025. Uh, this is the one I actually want to get my hands on. I thought I wanted the Pro XG 10 PoE, the rack mounted one. But this one actually looks very interesting. So it's a desktop. Um, it's only 155 watts, which is still a lot uh, for 10 ports. They're not PoE++++, plus plus plus, but just two pluses. And they're all 10 gig ports as well. And you get two 10 gig SFP plus ports. So it just looks nice. And it's, I guess it's going to be the smallest switch you can get with ether lighting too. So that will look nice and that'll be a very good addition for kind of 10 gig networking, some kind of you know space where you need 10 gig, probably video editing off a NAS, something like that, multiple users, that's that's pretty sweet. Yeah, so very, very close here. Um, right, you can tell the PoE budget on this 10 with the PoE++ is much higher. So more than twice, almost 3X of uh, similar performance here. Yeah, that, that that's your main differences. So. You decide if you want to wait for the Pro XG8 PoE. Now from all these devices, I don't have time to make a video review on every single product, but if there's something in particular here that you saw that was released in April that you want a review on, please let me know in the comments section down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.